guys so much for watching. See you on my next video. 20 years ago, if, if a woman wanted to go and learn about how to do a smoky eye, she'd either have to go to a beauty counter and buy products or go and pay for a beauty seminar. But today, I mean, it's free and it's, it's so accessible. A woman could learn how to do her makeup in her bedroom if she wanted to. And so this is what really Ipsy was really about is just having a more intimate dialogue and conversation and building this relationship with an audience that's very, very engaged in beauty. And the reason why I decided to move out to LA was because I knew that all of the agencies were out here, all the brands, the production company. I mean, really, if you wanted to uh, do something in the media or entertainment business, you'd go to LA. And so it made a lot of sense for me to come out here. And when I came out here, I was able to meet with Marcelo. And I told him, yo, like, I have this amazing YouTube channel and I have millions of, of followers and it's great, but I know this is not sustainable. I know it, just, it doesn't just stop at YouTube. There's so much more that I could do. And I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to be so much more than just a YouTuber. And Marcelo and I, we uh, came up with the idea of Ipsy, and 2011, we launched it, end of 2011, and please, Marcelo, interject. We sold out, I think you, you, you put your video up, and we sold out in like 30 minutes, uh, 7,500 bags, our first 7,500 subscribers. And, <laughs> and we were packing it at Marcelo's house, like it was a true startup. An influencer today is almost like the models, you know, like they're, or the talents. Um, they're the people who are very talented at what they do, whether it's looking good or being funny or making jokes or, and the list goes on. And then you have the creators who are very special. They have talent, but they also have um, that drive and ambition. You know, they're just naturally motivated to work um, and to think and to come up with new ideas and to experiment. And these are the people I really believe um, you guys as brands should really approach because they're the ones who are just constantly thinking about the next thing that they can upload rather than just doing the same thing over and over again. And that's not, a, I'm, I'm not trying to like say, say anything bad about that. I'm just saying there is a clear difference between a creator and an influencer. Um, and the creators are the ones I truly believe are gonna be the future leaders and entrepreneurs of, of, of tomorrow. If you put me behind a camera, if you, if you pair me with an influencer or a creator, I can really make magic happen and I can help them. And this is really what I wanna start. And this is why IpsyOS came to life was we wanted to create a platform, um, an operating, not operating system, well, it is like an operating system, OS, but it, it really is an open studio where we have an open relationship with these beauty creators who can just come in and shoot uh, pictures, videos, whatever content they want, collaborate with other creators, join in on our um, exclusive beauty events that we host every Thursday called Thirsty Thursday, where we get a brand, a specific brand to come in and to host a, a party with us where we get to drink, hence Thirsty Thursday. And um, it's very successful. I, I, I would like to say that one partner that we had ho who hosted Thirsty Thursday, the brand was ColourPop. They exclusively gave um, all of the beauty influencers that we had at Thirsty Thursday, um, all of the new uh, lip glosses that they were launching. And um, so all the influencers the next day were tweeting about it, um, swatching it, uploading videos about the swatches and taking pictures of it and sharing it on Instagram. And when ColourPop launched, within a day they sold out of all their lip glosses. And so like we really do see the power in um, cultivating this relationship with the creators and just being there with them and mentoring them and just helping them. They need support and they need help and th they haven't found really like a, a haven for them to come in where they don't feel like they're competing with other creators where they can actually collaborate and share ideas and really cross, cross uh, promote and pollinate. We're really just at the beginning of what, we, what I call the digital revolution. And you know, the last time we had something like that was the industrial revolution and you saw how that really changed our economy for the better. And so now I feel with the digital revolution, instead of, instead of it being so focused on America, because that was the industrial revolution, the digital revolution is really going to change the global economy, I believe, because digital is so global. I mean, they call it the World Wide Web for a reason. And, and what I'm most excited about is just finding all these other creators and talents around the world who have something very, very unique to share.